525 2011 5:45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. One of the things that we would like to point out as we do every morning is the pre-market futures and where the bull and the bear is and what kind of economic data has come out. Um, one of the things that we're looking at here is the gap up above 1.01.00 0 .00 ratio. One, two, three, four names. That's it. That's called diminishing gap up in the NASDAQ comp. MMTs, look at the gap down list. Oh, it's about the same, but they're about equal. Whereas earlier in the week, around Monday, you had a long, 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 long list. So between the bear and the bull, pre-market gap up and gap down, they're about equally weighted. Okay? The trade management when we get to that opening bell is that stocks will remain up toward the high level of the intraday high will be a short trade again because we're still in a correction from the original top that we called for we're in week four of that top so yesterday they used all the stocks that were the most beaten down in the shorter term correction energy oil services commodities silver gold uh, things like that which kind of give the broader indexes a floor and so because it is at the end of the month they went in and then went on their shopping spree and they went right into those names that had the biggest correction within the last top inter uh, yearly top that we called for in the beginning of May and every top has what we call downside volatility upside volatility called counter reversals to the upside volatility but then they roll over and they make lower lows and one of the things that we're very good at is understanding that the counter relief rallies end up making lower lows because we have not resolved a bottom yet from that correction uh, whether that that comes today or whether that comes next week or at the end of it doesn't matter when it comes but when it does, we're well prepared as we always are and always have been. And all of that evidence is right there on stockmarketfunding.com and all the index analysis and indices. Okay, So bull rallies have corrections and that's what they are. They're not a bull rally within a bear correction. It's a bull rally with a bull rally correction. There's a difference. A lot of people don't understand what those differences are. So there are some good buying opportunities at these bottoms in here for the bigger people in Wall Street, such as institutional investors, hedge fund managers, because they underperformed all year. In the first quarter of the year, they did. And then you have your regular people who buy and sell stocks looking for valuation. And they always seem to find valuation in every correction. That's where when you're buying the equity off of the support level now, so when you're buying equity off the support level, they bounce off of those support levels because those people are engaging and making purchases. We're going into a major holiday weekend this coming Friday. The volatility will remain elevated in the NASDAQ comp. The trade management is buying off the bottom, taking that 36912 up and then selling it in for profit and getting that short. Nothing could hold that broader bull move yesterday that we started off with in pre-market. We started with a bull move, but the bull move gave way. And we still close lower within the original trend cycle. Let's have a good day. These are the names that are popping up. I do know that some of them are earnings related. NASDAQ comp, gap open up, gap open down, trade management.